Each year, about 16 to 18 locations across the state provide eagle watching opportunities. Uh, they typically run from the early part of December through the early part of March, but the real peak is in about a five or six week window of time from mid-January to mid-February. That also coincides with the peak in, in wintering eagle numbers. Um, most of these locations are at state parks, uh, National Wildlife Refuges, Corps of Engineers Lakes, or uh, wildlife management areas. Uh, the Wildlife Department, uh, we are a, a, a participant and co-sponsor of four or five eagle watches each year, uh, and then we help promote all of the others that exist in the state. Uh, and on the uh, Wildlife Department's website, if you go to www.wildlifedepartment.com, then go to the Wildlife Diversity and Private Lands uh, page, you'll see an icon for birds and bats. If you click on that, there's a, a schedule there of all of the eagle watches each year. It's typically updated in October and November before the eagle watches start. Uh, most eagle watches are, are free to the public and don't require pre-registration. There are a few that do, so I recommend that people go to the website, look at the eagle watches that are available, uh, and, and kind of choose accordingly. Most of the eagle watches uh, take place on Saturdays. There's a few on Fridays and a few on Sundays, but most every Saturday in January and early February, there will be anywhere from three to six eagle watches uh, available for people to see eagles.